Steve Young. Oh, hey guys, um, hey, Kari here. I was just showing him what not to do uh, in front of the camera. Project Portfolio, we're getting ready, we're setting up. Shout out Joe Tam. He made it happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you have a your and don't. Dudes, look fierce, okay? Don't. Don't do anything dangerous. If you haven't got your ticket yet, you can still go online, click the link in our bio to buy a ticket, or you can pay at the door. It is $80 for one of the day slots and $135 for the double session, okay? Double trouble, double Ds, okay? <laughs> double Ds! Double Ds! Double Ds! <laughs> Come to Project Portfolio, it's going to be fun, models provided. Let me let me take you backstage. What's Project Portfolio? Like, what's oh, uh, so it's just photographers coming together, getting inspired from one another. Learning from one another, one another, taking photos, learning uh, the ways to experience. But you put this together, right? I, I helped because I remember uh, so I first discovered objects through one of these content days when I like started taking photos series. Like I really fell in love with photography. I wanted more to do more of that, so that's why I want to get other photographers in the space, get them around the community. There's a lot of creators in the space. You see how bright it is from here until it gets the sunset. We're just gonna be taking photos. Just full, like no restrictions, have fun with the space, take photos. This is Project Portfolio guys, produced by Objects, Content Day, and Joe Tim, and the whole Objects and Content Day team. You can have your say too. There's no real rules except for, you know, of course shoot safely. If there's any questions, of course get creative. We have two portions of the day. We have day and night. I'm taking photos, man. Yeah, but well, 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 why, why him and why them? Let's because he's giving, he's giving street fashion. He's giving right. hipster. So I gotta put him under the street, the street style zone, you know. But we gotta, we gotta fix something. And I'm gonna adjust my SEO. Damn SEO. <laughs> <laughs> or not SEO. <laughs> <laughs> ISO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right hand on your hat. Bonjour, you want a um banier? Huh. My, my name is Jacques Stendhal. Why this shot? Why this shot? Because she's like more open to this oh, shot, this and then the shot. light is also getting more on her from this angle. Otherwise, she would have too much shadow on the side, and I'm preferring the highlight on this side. Did you get that? Proposing models is, uh, I would say, give examples. Don't just tell them what to do, but if you can show them, they'll understand a lot better what you're trying to do. A lot of photographers, you know, don't aren't comfortable doing that, and you kind of have to get comfortable doing that, right? Get out of your comfort zone, because then you just become on a on a more even playing field with your model as well, and then the communication can flourish. Uh, learn lights. Um, don't be scared. Try anything and everything to figure out what you like by experimenting. That's the best way to learn. 
because I'm so ADHD, never put your shutter less than 250 so you get every shot crisp. That's the key importance to shooting Always? with ADHD. Yeah, because you're when you're creative and you're excited and you don't know fully what you're doing, you're tending to look at the next shot before you even get that shot that you want. So a lot of times you might miss focus or you get that little bit of blur that you don't notice until you're editing and you're like, All right, that's a damn it. Yes. Just do it. Start sooner. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to grab your camera and go out there and shoot. I think I postponed myself too long and I should have just started, you know? Oh, don't be afraid to put your work out there. I think that was my biggest regret. Focus is everything. Keep your head in the game and always think for positive outcome. Uh, photography advice is um, there's no such thing as a perfect photo. 